Hi everyone, it's Alejandra and I'm sitting here inside my home office and today I'm going to do a quick video on my favorite type of binders and dividers to use in the home office or for school inside of your backpack. So um, that said, let me show you my favorite type of binder. Okay, this is my favorite type of binder and it's made by Staples. Staples came out with these binders about four or five years ago and at the time they only had like five different colors and now if you go to Staples they have like literally 20 different colors in all sizes. Um, it's pretty cool and when you have like 10 or 15 of these binders on a single shelf like in color coded rainbow order, it looks so pretty. This is what the binders look like when they're all together on the shelf in color-coded order and everything is labeled with the exception of that one white binder that's not labeled but doesn't it just look consistent neat and organized I just love it uh, that's one of the reasons why I like this binder because the variety of colors and how even and consistent it all looks on one shelf um, but let me get to um, like the real reason why I like them and I'm kind of like an office supply snob um, if that makes sense you probably if you haven't seen my office supply video my other office supply video um, or if you have seen it then you know I'm really picky with the stuff I use so when I find something I like I stick to it okay so going back to the binder this is my favorite binder um, the first reason why I really like this binder is the spine. I like how the spine has a, like a dedicated section for the label, just like this. Like some of the regular size binders or the regular style binders have a spine that you can label the whole section and a lot of times the label it comes with, like once you pull it out it's really hard to get it back in because the paper is too flimsy or too thin um, and then, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's hard to label the spine. So this is really easy to label and it comes with the template inside of here. Let me pull it out and show you guys. Okay. So this is the template it comes with and you know if you mess up the front you can just label the back. So I really like that and then I really like how the rings are on the back panel of the binder, not the spine itself. Sometimes when they're on the spine, um, the papers kind of get caught when you close, like when you close this and the ring is on the spine, the papers kind of get messed up or, I don't really know if that was a good explanation, but I like how the binder rings are on the back of the, um, the binder. And then I also like how the front of the binder has a section to put a cover page or to put a title page so you can have a custom title page or you could um, use your creativity to come up with something that's like stylish or pretty. And then I like how the front, or the, the, yeah, the front of the inside cover has this little section for putting papers here also. So um, those are the things I look for in a binder and this binder just totally meets my needs and so that's why I use them. So this binder, I'm gonna show you quickly uh, what's inside this binder. This is where I keep all of my picture labels um, like the pictures that I put on the front of the shoe boxes. So I have dividers and then I label the dividers with the name of the room. So there's bathroom, there's toys, there's crafts, garage. And then behind each divider, I have all the pictures. So these are all the pictures for the bathroom. And then there's some toy pictures like this. And I don't have kids, um, so these toy pictures were from when I um, used to travel to people's houses and help them declutter. People that had kids. And then crafts are back here. So anyways, that's just a side note on how to organize your pictures if you have pictures. All right, this is my favorite binder. And the divide, let me quickly talk about the dividers. The dividers inside this binder are not my favorite. They were, I think they were like 99 cents on clearance um, a few years ago. And I liked how they were colorful, so I bought them and I'm using them. Um, they're functional, they work, but um, they're not the dividers that are my favorite that I'm gonna show you next. Okay, so these are my favorite dividers. They are color coded and they are made by, um, these ones are Staples brand. Avery makes a more expensive version, um, but the Staples brand works just as well. They are just as high as 
high of quality for a fraction of the price. So I like how they're color coded. When I saw them, I was immediately drawn to them because of the pretty colors. But I also like how it has a cover page on the very front so um, you could just label each of the sections instead of having to label each of the tabs on the dividers itself because yeah, I don't really like labeling um, tabs. I prefer to label one cover sheet and then just have this as like the legend for the rest of the binder. So, um, so these are my favorite dividers. Again, they are Staples brand. I don't know how much they are offhand, but um, you can just go to staples.com and check it out. So those are my favorite binders. They're the only binder that I use inside my home office. If you have um, a favorite binder that you absolutely love and want to tell me about, I would love to hear. You can either create a video response or leave a comment below and let me know what it is because I would love to read it. And if you want more information on my classes or programs that I have, then you can visit my website at alejandra.tv. I will see you guys soon. Bye!